Okay. So let's now see how to solve this question. So what they are saying, uh, let's just read it out. So basically they are saying that X3 is number of threes, right? And they're asking the expectation of X3. That is the question. So you are rolling a die. The question is like this now, which says that you are rolling a dice 72,000 times and and x3 is some random variable which is defined to be number of threes. They are asking for expectation of x3. Right? This is the question. Uh, now, basically, uh, in our template, what is, what is the x that we have? In our in our general template, can anyone tell me number of x is number of successes, right? Number of success, right? So here, here, uh, like in general, we have number of successes, but here they are saying number of threes. So basically, let's suppose this number of threes, I mean, three, three is a success here. Three is a success here, right? So we can say that three is a success here. So now they are asking the expected number of trials to, to uh, I mean, uh, expectation of X3, which means I can say uh, expected number of successes, right? So expected number of threes, that's, that's what they're asking. Now, uh, like what you can do, you can basically, again, uh, I mean, you, you can, you can say that, okay, there are 72,000, uh, uh, trials. So you can divide this X3 again into 72,000 for each trial. You can have a one random variable, maybe let's suppose Y. Okay. For each trial, there is, let's suppose one random variable and let's say that one ran that random variable is Y. So maybe you can, uh, you can have Y 72,000 and so on. Basically you can drive the formula, but since you know that this, this is, this is the typical format that we already arrived. So don't do it again and again, like don't, don't drive the formula again and again. So from here directly use that. What is that uh, formula that we have for the expectation and into P. So basically here, the success is getting the three. It should be clear to everyone. So if they ask the expected, uh, like expected number of successes or, or expected number of threes or something. So basically just think that, okay, this is, this is what they're asking, which means this is like, they're asking for the number of successes, right? I mean, expected number of successes. So in that case, you can directly use the formula. What is the number of trials here? So like the formula says the N into P, N into P. What is the number of trials? 72,000. What is the probability of success? So what is this P here? P here is the probability of success, right? X3 is already defined there and there, right? So they are saying the X3 is number of threes. X3 is number of threes. So I let XJ be the number of times that DJ has come, which means X3 is number of threes. And then they are saying mm -hmm. that what is the expectation of X3? So expectation in case of, uh, in case of binomial, uh, uh, binomial random variable is N into P where N is number of trials and P is the probability of success. Okay. So you can say here, N is number of trials and P is probability of success. So on on average, how much, how many, how, how much success you will be getting on on average and P right. Okay. So on on average, the expected number of success is NP. So basically if you solve this 72,000 into probability of success and what is success here? Number of threes, right? Let me know if that is okay to everyone. So what you will say here, uh, like what is the probability of uh, getting the three is I think one by six, right? So from here, I think it will be 12,000. Let me know if that is clear to everyone. So see what they're asking expectation of some random variable, right? Now, uh, like expectation of number of threes, expected number of threes. So now let's just suppose that then this three is getting three is a success. So expected success they're asking. So which is N into P N is number of trials and P is a probability of success. Okay. The second question is that they're asking the variance of X3. I think you can, you can do it NPQ, right? 
NPQ is the answer. But this is more interesting question, which is that they are asking compute compute variance of x1 plus x2, right? So let's just solve this question. They are asking for this. This is the B part. Now, what is x1 based on the definition that they have defined? Number of number of ones. N trials of seven to two thousand trials. Okay, I mean I hope uh, that is trivial. Number of ones in N trials, right? And what is X two? Number of twos in N trials. Now, uh, see, uh, whenever they are asking about the expectation of variance of some random variable, just see if that particular random variable. See, they have defined a new new random variable which is Y. Okay, which is X one plus X two. First, tell me in English what is this? What is this y? Number of ones and and number of twos, right? I mean, total summation of number of ones and twos, number of twos, right? The summing of all the ones and all the twos, number of how many times ones are coming and how many times two are, twos are coming. This is just English, like, okay, I mean, the and or or, I don't want to get into that complication. This is just English, like, you should be, uh, you should be convinced that we should be, we are summing up here. I mean, the total, we are counting the total number of ones and twos. That's all, right? Okay. So, uh, now, if they're asking about this expectation of Y or a variance of Y or something like this, then tell me, can you define your success in terms of Y? Which means, can you say the success is, success is that either one come or two come which means this is success either one come or two come this is success for you everything else is just failure right can you define your success in uh, in in terms of one or twos i mean in terms of why no why why you can't do it i mean you can say that if one or two comes either one come or two come then it is success for you right and then they are asking number of successes so what is the success for you now Either one comes or two comes, right? In any trial. Now, what is the probability of success for you? Two by six, right? Okay. Yeah, two by six, which is one by three. So basically, you are saying that they are asking expectation of y. Let's suppose they are asking expectation of y. Then it is n into number of trials into the probability of success. So it is which is seven to two thousand into into one by three, right? Which is twenty four thousand. Now, what is the variance of uh, variance of y? Which means n p q, right? Are x one and x two independent? No, why do you care? Like, I mean, why do you care about these are independent or dependent for this particular question? X1 is, no, they cannot be independent. Like, if X1 is more than X2 will obviously be less. It's, it cannot be like that uh, X1 can take any value with respect without uh, impacting X2, right? It cannot be like that. If X1 is increasing, then obviously, the, if, if there are all, all ones, then the twos will be less. Okay, okay. No, X1 and X2 are not independent here. Yes. Yeah, that is that is nice observation because you cannot write variance of X1 plus X2 is variance of X1 plus variance of X2. Because they are not independent. Why? Because if one is increasing, if number of ones is increasing in let's suppose N trials, then obviously number of twos will be decreasing, right? Or number of threes will be decreasing. Right? Okay. So you can't write like this, first of all. And anyway, like we are not going with this particular uh, direct formulation because we have defined a new random variable y. And what is the variance of y? n. n is what? n is number of trials. And what is the probability of success? 1 by 3. What is the probability of failure? 2 by 3. So that's how you can do it, right? So let me know if that is understood. See, if they're asking something, like I mean, if they're asking the variance or expectation of something, then just see if you can define Define your success in terms of that random variable. And then the question become very easy. See, this is, I agree, this is very tricky question. And then this question has been asked in MIT. 
Okay. I have taken this question from MIT. MIT assignment or QG or something. Okay. They have asked in the midterm. They have asked this question in the midterm. Just imagine MIT midterm. Okay. <laughs> like, let me just tell you, ISC midterms itself very, very hard. Okay. I mean, uh, yeah, they, this question might be of their undergrad course that I completely agree. But still, this is MIT midterm. Okay. So now Avni is asking X1, X2 not independent. No, they are not independent. Independent means that uh, doesn't matter what value X1 is taking, what value X2 is taking, they are taking the values uh, independently. But it's not like that. If let's suppose X1 is 72,000, can you not predict the value of X2? What is the value of X2? It is definitely zero, right? It cannot take any other value than, than zero. It cannot take value uh, any other value than zero. If all are ones, then X2 must be zero. So which means both are not taking value independently. They're taking value dependently, right? One value of X1 determining what is the value of X2. Yes. Some value of X1 is determining what is the value of X2. That's why they are not independent. Let me see the answer. This counts the number of uh, times either uh, one has appeared or two has appeared, right? So uh, each die roll has one by three chance of coming one or two. Yeah, I think they have done the same thing. They have defined the success in terms of either one can, one is appearing or two is appearing. Okay. Cool. No, X2 is not 7 to X1 plus X2 is not 7 to 2000. Yeah, you can you can do X1 plus X2 plus X3 is X1 plus X2 plus X3 also. Uh, let me just think about some uh, some more variation or some more question here. Yeah, you can do X1 plus X2 plus X3 if I just ask you the expectation of X1 plus X2 plus X3. Okay. Actually, you can just verify it, but uh, if you want, I can uh, I can just solve this question. Okay, can you can you just uh, find out the expectation of x1 plus x2 plus x3? So basically, you can define your success as either one can co come, right? Either one, two, or three, right? Three can come. So this is your success. What is the probability of success? This is 1 by 2, right? I mean 3 by 6. 3 by 6 is 1 by 2. Now, uh, what is this expectation? This will be n into p. So, let me write here. What is n here? Number of trials 72,000 into 1 by 2, which is 36,000. Now, you can also verify this expectation to be to be matlab, uh, like individual with the linearity uh, formula maybe right so can i write like this can i write like this why not why I can't write like this? I think there is no, no problem, right? Can you tell me the problem? No, independent we don't need. For the expectation, we don't need independent or dependent. Okay, we don't need anything. Now, let's just see if uh, the expectation of X1 plus X2, what it was coming. This was coming 24,000, right? Expectation of X1 plus X2. This is 24,000 and expectation of X3 is 12,000. So this was coming to be 24,000. This was coming to be 12,000. We already did, right? We already did. Similarly, we already did this. So we already done these two. And then if you see the summation, which is coming out to be 36,000. 
so this is just uh, you know like i mean uh, i have just shown you that you can verify with this way also like you would solve it then also 36000 with a linearity of expectation also 36000 okay let me know if there is any question x3 is dependent on no it doesn't matter whether whether they are dependent or independent i mean uh, for for this we don't need any dependence or independence assumption we don't need Uh, for variance you can't do it for variance you can't do it then you have to use npq okay cool so i hope you understood this right so this was a good question where uh, where i just wanted to tell you that for any question you you have to think about it that what is the success for you right and then you have to apply the formula n into p what is n here number of trials what is p here probability of success you have to just check that what is success for you uh yes i already taught this concept so uh yes this is actually in the running of binomial and bernoulli distribution so maybe we will uh, we are just going to the new distribution and then uh, then you can just follow from there okay cool